Y'all have like the beer, the beer wagon. This is the the beer wagon, the beer wagon of this all is, beer wagons. This is the beer wagon home front for the week here here live at the Dingus Lounge. What is this dynasty you have with the Pat's Blue Ribbon? I used to race three sixties. I ran here the ter- first tournament of champions in nineteen ninety seven, and uh, I've been sponsoring okay. and uh, partnering up with so. Lucas Wolf since. Uh, Approximately 2010 and 11. Is that when the Paps thing came out? Were you a part of that deal or no? I put that uh, program together, absolutely, through a, a business partner that I had when I was sponsored by Miller Brewing Company. He's uh, now part of the Paps organization, and our first year with Paps was 2017. It looks really badass on the car, so I'm assuming it, it works well for merchandise sales and just general marketing. Absolutely. You know, we termed it the badass beer wagon, and it uh, certainly has worked well for us. We've had very good results starting in 2017. That year, we won our first three out of five nights, had a second and a third, I think, on the other two. And uh, through social media, they saw the value in our partnership and have continued it on. And, man, we put out a good-looking car every year. And then T-shirts and all that. What's that one with the girl? What's what's that all about? And that's a pinups paps posse. We always come out with. Uh, Hold on, that's a tongue twister. How do you say that again? Pinups paps posse. Oh, you almost said it wrong the, there. That's the, how. That's what I'm talking about. For the Pennsylvania posse, okay. but we come out with one of those editions every year, and they're a fan favorite. Certainly, you know everything that built this this country. What is speed? Paps blue ribbon. Good looking women in high school. I worked at a screen printing shop. And I, uh, I design them out, and then I send them over to Arizona. Their artists fine-tune what I see as a vision and come up with them. So these are all from your mind and they, creation. Absolutely. I really like the two-car. The, the two-car designs? Yeah, the two-car design. That's the first car we came out with in 2017. That's the car that we're currently running. Then we brought the original here. Which I would say this is my newest favorite that I we did for Knoxville. It's kind of got an old school feel to it in a way. Absolutely. It's got the red, white, and then this is the back and Pabst blue. Oh, so that's a front back design. Right. Top so is two. the front, bottom is the back. See, because most people think that's a front and that's a back. You know, a little name and number and then a, yeah. and then a back with a car. You got a car on both sides. Yeah, we, you're did, saying. we did both cars and that's been really popular. Wow. And of course, then for my business, the treasure map, Orange Crate to the Dingus. Oh, my God, no. With, with, with our interstate logo. So you're from New York? Yes, sir. Yep, so How did you get into sprint cars more than um, big blocks? I mean, you just said Syracuse. Yeah, I, I, I grew up going to Swiggle Speedway. My dad took us every week with big block super modifieds, asphalt. See, back then, fortunately, my father, uh, you know, he, he would take my brother and I. We'd go to Rolling Wheels Raceway on Friday night. Okay, so dirt track. Dirt track. We'd go to uh, Swiggo Speedway Saturday night. Get your asphalt in. We'd go Fulton Sunday, which at that point yeah. was asphalt. They'd oh, okay. Modifieds on Sunday and Wing Supers, and then we would haul ass over to Weed Sports Speedway for Sunday night. Wow! Dirt. So it so was four that four races much. in three days. Wow! Yeah. So I had asphalt and dirt, but religiously we went every Saturday night to Oswego Speedway. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of like a first love was those super modifieds. Yeah, absolutely. I just thought the sprint car guys, when they were coming into town for rolling wheels, weed sport, man, they were cool. So I uh, was racing two-cycle go-karts and uh, moved up to a full-blown sprint car. That's what I wanted to do. So uh, I bought my first sprint car from John and Pee Wee Zemitis in 1993. Uh, it was one of Billy Pouch's cars, and then we put it together in our super modified shop. That, that's a story team with uh, great results. And Lucas drove for them for 2014, 15, and 16, and um, uh, you know they should be in the Hall of Fame here. So you got from that car to where? How did how did that go? Well, I'm curious we, now, knowing your racing career. Uh, I raced with the Empire Super Sprints. Okay. Do you have success, I guess? or? Yeah, we had, we had good success. We always had, uh, you know, corporate sponsorships that I networked. Um, and we were invited. They took 10 cars from Empire Super Sprints out of New York, 10 from URC in Pennsylvania, and 10 Knoxville regulars, the top 10 in points. And we ran the Tournament of Champions, which was... Uh, which has developed into uh, the 360 Nationals. Okay. From the racing, you got out, got hurt. What happened? Uh, well, I, I split my time. I was hired to drive a big block, dirt modified, and a 358. 
for Roger Haru out of Cooperstown, New York. Our team won 15 out of 18 nights down at Five Mile Point on, on those Saturday nights. You did. Roger Haru's team. It was Mitch Gibbs, myself, yep. and Jim Potts. Yeah, I remember Mitch Gibbs. And uh, I should have won the Heath Irving Memorial. I took the lead on lap nine. I led up to lap 74 going into turn three. Uh, la a lapper had spun. I lapped up to the second and third place car, and uh, they never threw the yellow, and I tagged them pretty good. 100 yards from the checkered flag. So I split my time in that in 2002, three, and four. I went back to the sprint car full time for 2005 and six. And uh, three kids at that point, now four. Had a really, took a really bad flyer at uh, Cornwall, which I, I didn't want to go to the crash shop, so, because uh, we're in another country. Want to get back over the border. Right. And uh, I ended up with two fractured vertebrae from that. So that was kind of, you know, the start of the end. Lucas's uncle, Donnie Wolf, he works at Zemco, and uh, they always sponsored me. John and Pee Wee took care of me, and Tommy Carl. So um, when Lucas would come through New York on the Outlaws, I started buying his tires for the New York Swing. And then once they aligned and joined uh, in the Zemco car in 14, I went on the Zemco car as a full-time sponsor. They were running a limited schedule, so I told Lucas, I get some sponsors on board if we do some 360 racing in my backyard in New York. So uh, Jimmy D Speed and Machine built two brand new 360 motors for me, and we got Lucas doing that, had really good success. We were down at Lebanon Valley. We set fast time with the All Stars, and uh, got hurt in the A main, um, which he uh, fractured some vertebrae, uh, different vertebrae that he had done when he was on the Outlaw Tour. So uh, he had a rehab from that. And the first night back in the Barshinger 24, he went out to time trial. Uh, the axle broke, and uh, you know he ended up flipping. And that's that. If people had seen. That's uh, the tire that went through mm -hmm. the house the there. House, yep. And, uh, you know, he didn't re-injure himself there. Um, just, uh, you know, it wasn't a good way to start your first right. time back off a major injury. I mean, but we've had good results since then. Uh, you know, we had last year with COVID, we had one race in New York. And uh, we won that up at Canandaigua. Uh, went fifth to, fifth to first on the 19th lap. 20th lap, took the lead and, and won that 25 lap. Or, of nice. course, we had the win at Williams Grove this year. And, uh, you know, we certainly would have liked better results for Speed Week, but we showed good speed. Almost, almost had Kyle Larson that Wednesday night at yeah, Port Royal. Did. He passed us. We passed him back twice, and then he got us on the white flag lap, and Lucas tried to go through the center, and uh, Dietrich and Lance, you know, ate him up a little because he was hung out in the middle there. Yeah. But, he tried to. It was a good show, though. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And he ran strong, which he needed, you know. Absolutely. So we're close. We just got to, you know, refine some things and fine-tune it, and, and we'll be in it. We're excited for the rest of the season, for sure.